Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. I hope you are doing well. I'm here to do a flip through of my completed Hobonichi pages for the month of, I want to say October. I will leave a link down below to the September pages if you are interested in taking a look at that. So let's actually, I do believe I did some of the pages here in my weekly section for October. So this is where I usually keep track of my gratitude. Uh, a lot of these collage elements, of course, are from Courtney Diaz. These days of the week are from Erin Ware. And yeah, the the front or like the weekly section is uh, just about gratitude. And this is from Pocket Journal Pam. And this is it for October. So let's get into the October flip through. This is, I guess, the title page and um, I've decided to include the Hobonichi challenge. I came up with the October ones. I thought instead of doing like a Halloween theme, I thought it would be fun to do like the um, fictional characters and mystical characters and that kind of theme. So uh, I came up with these uh, prompts for October. And um, so you'll you'll notice some of these doodles here and there um, that are from the Hobonichi challenge. I guess that day was uh, when the typhoon was rolling through and this is part of, uh, once again, I didn't finish watercoloring and I don't think I will, but that's the Tree of Souls and so there's that. Um, some old camping photos, I believe. We. I think I decided to just stick them in there because I didn't have anything else to really journal about. Oh yes, you know from time to time uh, when you're on Facebook it shows you um, something like a photo that you put on Facebook. Uh, it shows you, you know, four years ago this happened or... <laughs> um, so this f photo came up. This is a very very famous Japanese uh, band. Yeah, I guess you can say band. Um, they're extremely famous here and when they have shows here in Japan, they sell out um, over X amount of thousands of thousands and thousands of people. Um, but they actually came to Toronto and um, we were in a small little, no, I don't want to say room, but it was a small venue and it was just several hundred people and I got to see them so close and it was 100% once in a lifetime opportunity and this happened many many years ago but anyways this photo popped up in my feed again and uh, so I, I decided to print that out oh this is a happy mail from Katrin so so cute uh, uh, it's squid game uh, I guess I started watching some of the squid game this is more from uh, Pam and her printables on patreon I don't really have much going on uh, Bill, I don't, I might have talked about this in the past. I feel like I did talk about it. I'm not sure, but um, some of the bi bills we pay, uh, sometimes uh, back home you would pay, I don't know if you still do this, but you would pay using like a check <laughs> or of course you'd um, pay at the bank. But here we, I, I can go to the convenience store and pay at the convenience store too. So that's really, I guess, convenient. <laughs> this here is just the... Undokai, um, I don't know what you would say, like a board that says Undokai, which is kind of like an athletics day. Um, so I took a picture of that and then my daughter is there and we played at the park. I think this is an old photo though. I don't think we did it on the same, same day. Two things prevent us from happiness, living in the past and observing others. Yeah, that's very true. A little, I did a little writing about the Undokai. I like using um, little note papers and this one in particular is from Courtney. Um, instead of adding watercolor washes to the background, if I want to add color to a page, I'll just use one of the uh, note papers or sticky notes. Here's one of the Hobonichi challenges again. A little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference. Yes, and then here it looks like I unpackaged un, uh, the Sailor Lacool that I'm... It's currently not being inked. I'll have to show you one of these days once it's... Through the eyes of gratitude, everything is a miracle. Yes. 
I really like these rub-ons uh, from Hank's or from our studio. I'm trying my best to like spread them out because I want to use them all the time. <laughs> it's really difficult. And then this is the oh, another Hobonichi challenge. But this time I think I used pencil crayon to color that in. This one too. Uh, I got some Troublemaker ink in. And oh yes, I did an Instagram live using the the ones that you can make your own ink pad. You can make your own ink pad using the set uh, where you have the bottles of ink and then your blank, um, what's it called, ink pad and you can make your own design. So I was trying that on Instagram Live and that was a lot of fun. And one more of the Hobonichi Challenge, Yaki Imo. The kids in, in Japan here, they do these, they harvest these big sweet potatoes, uh, I think around the autumn season. And so my son brought this huge one <laughs> here. Um, so he's just eating that. This, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I showed a Oops, journal with me session if I'm not mistaken, but um, this is I think from the speckled fawns Yeah, I'm, I, I have a feeling that I did a journal with me session and then I stuck this photo in there uh, my haul from Hobonichi And then the packaging here is from From Terry from speckled fawns And then This is from Erin this is so pretty, this sparkly rainbow that my daughter made. I don't know, she used paint pens on top of the glitter paper and it turned out so nice. I did not direct her at all um, as to what colors to use. She just decided to do this on her own and it, it was just so inspiring for me. Like it's, when I looked at it instantly, it's like, oh, I really want to put it in my journal. I hope that's okay. And she said, of course. And I just love the colors that she chose there. And then the, my son used these little sticker dots and made planet earth there and of course i wanted to put that in my journal as well acknowledging the good that you already have in your life is the foundation for all abundance yes and then more of the hobonichi challenge doodles this really pretty uh, printable from erin and I'm um, adding some of the meatball washi tape as well. Sometimes if I don't know uh, what to journal about, I'll journal about like, for example, I drew the devil's snare and then I wrote about it because uh, I didn't know what it was. Um, so to kind of, if I, I didn't feel like journaling about the day or I felt like there was nothing to write about, um, those are the types of things that I do. Uh, and of course, uh, quotes and things. Oh, this is the day that I fell off my bicycle um, and then I fell on onto the train tracks. It was so, and I just, <laughs> I'm kind of chuckling at it now and this kind of was a perfect um, <laughs> printable for it. Um, but yeah, it was a very stressful and um, I was so shaken up because I fell onto the train tracks and I don't know, I can go on and on about it, but I was, I <laughs> to this day, I, I don't, really feel like riding my bike because I just had I have so many bad memories about this um, anyways and then this is just some from from packaging I also put the packaging here and it looks like I filmed a video that day too this is from Emily Emily Caria why journal this is uh, from a I cut it out from I think a flyer or magazine or something like that writing gives a Sorry, writing gives the mind a disciplined means of expression. I wonder what this is about. This is a, oh, pen meet today. And this was a fitting printable for that. Um, we don't meet people by accident. They are meant to cross our path for a reason. And this is more of these uh, sprinkly rainbows that my daughter drew. My son had a soccer, like a soccer tournament thing. Um, and for the first time we had to make an actual pa pass, like a train pass for him. So this is his first Suica card. <laughs> it's really, really cute. He was so excited about it. Um, and of course, because of the restrictions, the parents couldn't go and I was always, I was just worried about him the whole time, but of course he was okay. Edamame love, I love Edamame. My uh, classmates, my children's classmates' parents 
um, they gave us some edamame that they, I guess they picked, and uh, it was so fresh. And the edamame, I don't know how to say kauri or like the, the tasting of the edamame was very strong. It was very, very good. My daughter loves edamame too. Uh, I have to finish the journal petite. I still haven't finished the journal petite uh, lesson. What sprouts in fire does not wilt under the sun. Oh, that's a really good one. What sprouts in fire does not wilt under the sun. That's really good. And more of the Hobonichi challenge. More of, I think these are both from, these are all from uh, Pam. I think I did a journal with me session. I've, I've oh, maybe not, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's hard to remember. I think I did a journal with me session of this page. Uh, we went to eat some delicious, delicious Mexican food. It was so, so good. And then dessert later on. And we're almost finished for October. Um, we didn't do Halloween. They don't really do Halloween here in Japan. So what we did go to Mr. Donuts. I know there's Mr. Donuts in, in Canada as well. I don't know if they're still around. Uh, if you're from there, please let me know. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, we went to Mr. Donuts and they had these cute little Halloween themed uh, donuts. So we bought those to celebrate. Um, this is just uh, Ohashi uh, chopsticks case or cover from a takeout place called Kukuru. Uh, it was a uh, takoyaki. I think this is famous in Osaka. Um, but yeah, so um, I just tipped that in there and just some drawings. I think my daughter did this one, these ones here. And I don't really know who this character is or this anime character is, but of course she likes anything like princessy and kawaii, so <laughs> she wanted to take a photo. And that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this flip through of October. If I do have time, I will try my best to film November as well. Um, and uh, post that for you uh, but I hope you enjoyed this flip through next year for 2022 I will be doing the A6 size so it'll be half the size so <laughs> it'll be very challenging yet exciting at the same time if you have any questions as always please leave a comment down below and I will try my best to answer you when I can thank you so so much for being here and I will see you soon bye, -bye.